Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Monday. Today I'm coming at you with another Minx Monday Q&A. So let's get started. And before I continue, I just have to apologize once again. Obviously you guys can hear that I'm still not back to normal. Uh, instead of sounding raspy, now I sound nasally. <laughs> so I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that I enunciate clearly so you guys can hear exactly what it is I'm trying to say. So let's get started. Uh, okay, so the very first one, Aureli, what are your thoughts on the LV Brea and Vernie? Um, I think that the LV Brea is a little too structured, and trust me, I know it sounds crazy because I love structured bags, uh, but when you have Vernie and then you add on uh, the Vaquetta on top of it, I think it makes for a heavy bag. Uh, also, I don't like the fact that the opening isn't very... Um, it's not realistic in my in my eyes. I think it's too small. I can't open the bag as much as I'd like to to be able to see everything. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of the uh, Brea. Um, Marsha Yu, I was wondering, what do you think of MCM bags? Uh, for those of you that don't know, MCM is called the uh, Mode Creation Munich. It is a German luggage and leather um, company that was founded in 1976 and they have uh, a lot of pieces that are competitively priced compared to uh, other other luxury brands and uh, I am a big fan of them uh, although back in the day uh, they had a lot of studs and uh, things like that. I thought it added too much to the bags, but now they've started to introduce pebble leather and I really like the quality of them. Uh, so I am a big fan of them, especially as I said before, the price, pro the price point for them is spot on. Uh, so that's another way that if you want to try luxury goods, you can try MCM. So I am a big, big fan. Uh, major thumbs up. Uh, Kimmy6767, what do you think of the Balenciaga bags? Um, I am not a big fan of the Balenciaga bags, in particular, the Balenciaga City Bag. I know, I know, I'm going to get lots of hate for this. Uh, I don't, the reason why I don't like them is because, number one, as I said before, I like structured bags, and uh, I think that as, uh, even though I can appreciate the leather and how supple the leather is, I feel that there's too much going on. I don't like the fact that it has a lot of uh, zippers, it has a lot of studs, it has um, a lot of fringe. I, I don't like, <laughs> I, I feel there's too much going on. Not only that, when I set it back down and it just kind of, just kind of flops, I don't like that either. So uh, that's why I'm not a big fan of the Balenciaga City bag. However, they have a uh, padlock work. It's a newer bag and I like that. I like how structured it is. <clears throat> And I like that they still have uh, their spin of their of their handbags. So um, I hate to say it, not a big fan of Balenciaga. Uh, okay, K Smith, do you like Rebecca Minkoff Coach or Michael Kors bags? Um, I will always have a special place in my heart for Coach bags because they actually. Uh, they were one of my first bags. They introduced me to luxury goods. Uh, so a huge, major thank you to Coach uh, for that reason. Uh, but I, although I've seen some of their new bags, I'm not a big fan of them. I feel that they look like they're starting a trend, kind of like another designer that a lot of the bags tend to look like other higher end uh, luxury goods. Uh, so I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not a big fan anymore. Uh, and Michael, or do you like Michael Kors handbags? Uh, again, from my previous video, I am not a big fan of Michael Kors handbags. Um, I, I wish, I really, I can appreciate a designer that brings out their own spin and their fresh outlook on a handbag. And when, <clears throat> when they start to look the same and they start to kind of have they incorporate other other things from other designers. I'm not that doesn't sit <laughs> that doesn't sit very well with me. And Rebecca Minkoff, I think they're cute. Uh, I've seen them before, but personally, I would never purchase them. Uh, not because there's anything wrong with them. It's just that um, I don't know. I've never really thought twice about them as far as me purchasing them. But I know a lot of my friends have them and they like them. And I think they look good on them. But for some reason, as I said before, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I've never thought twice about them. Um, Paisy5, 
Uh, what do you think about the King Toiletry with two zippers? Uh, I absolutely love the Louis Vuitton uh, King Toiletry. I believe that the because it has the two zippers, it gives you, it, it when you open it up, my goodness, you are able to see everything inside of your toiletry. You don't have to worry about the opening being too small. So you can see everything at a glance. And uh, I believe that they retail for $825 uh, in the States right now. And I am a huge, huge fan of toiletries anyways. So um, <clears throat> I think it's probably one of the best, as I said before, because of the opening and because... Um, Obviously, you could fit so much in there. They're they're awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, and Joanne, do you like the LV Favorite? What are your thoughts on them? I absolutely love the LV Favorite. If I didn't have an Eva clutch, I would definitely go for the LV Favorite. Um, I'm sorry, for the Favorite in the MM size. Uh, even though, I mean, I like the PM as well. Um, the reason, I think... Why I like them so much, number one, I absolutely love the microfiber lining on the inside. I think it adds that, just that tad much more of, does that tad much more? Really? Did I just say that? <laughs> I think it adds just a tad more class to the bag. Uh, and I am a big fan of the flap uh, for one major reason. Uh, as I've stated before, I tend to use the Eva clutch when I am traveling, especially in the Demi Ben. Um, so I'm very, I'm very skeptical sometimes when I'm in a crowd because the Eva clutch, as you guys know, it has just the zipper on the top. So unless I, I have my bag like right next to me, uh, it's very easy for someone to just slide open the zipper and just kind of, you know, dig your hand in there versus the favorite. It actually, because of the flap, it gives that, that much more added, um, security. So I am a huge, huge fan. Um, okay. And, and sock, uh, which colors are you considering to get on your speedy Mon Mano? That is a great question. <laughs> um, I have played with two different colors, I mean, for as long as I can remember on the Mon Mono Speedy. Um, I'm thinking about possibly getting the, I think it's a burgundy color, uh, but then part of me really wants, just because it's an option, I really want that hot pink interior. I know it doesn't, it, it doesn't make the bag, um, I don't know, like people would say that, you know, maybe the the mustard, it's almost like a mustard yellow or the red makes, keeps it classy. I love the hot, I love hot pink anyways. So the fact that that's even an option, I would go for the hot pink interior and, um, possibly the black and the pink on the outside, if not the pink and the white on the outside. But then again, I've also thought, <laughs> this is how crazy I am. I've also thought about getting the uh, burgundy on the inside and then the burgundy with the white on the outside. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a picture of it and actually post it up on Instagram so I can get your guys' thoughts on it. But uh, <laughs> it's always between this, those two and I can't decide. I'm so in, I'm probably one of the most indecisive people in the planet. If there's two things, I will, I will sit there <laughs> and I would literally sit there for like two, three hours trying to figure out which one's which, you know, it drives my husband crazy because he's just like many, they're just colors, but it's not, I think, <laughs> I think it's such a big deal. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I swear you guys, you guys understand. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. And then, um, Mary Lynn Irwin, have you had any unfavorable situations purchasing off eBay and was it resolved favorably? Uh, I have had some problems on eBay, um, in particular, uh, those of you that know, uh, you have 24 hours to cancel a bid on eBay as long as it's not the last 24 hours of the listing. Uh, I have come into problems where some sellers will actually wait until, you know, there's 22 hours left or 18 hours left and they will end up, uh, tacking on more shipping or, uh, they will take something off the listing. Like if before it came, especially with the uh, high end luxury goods, if before it used to come with a um, you know, a receipt or a box or a dust bag, all of a sudden it doesn't come with that. So what I actually do is I take a picture of the listing, uh, when I actually, you know, submit my bid in the event that after the listing ends, let's say shipping goes from $25 
to seventy five dollars. Uh, I can actually I have proof that you know when I made the bid I was I was um, I was. I knew that I was going to pay $25 in shipping, not $75. Uh, so, uh, yes, I have had problems with it. And thankfully, eBay has sided with me every single time because I take some precautions, as I said before. And um, sometimes, actually, nine times out of ten when I contact the buyer and, you know, let's say it's, um, I, I don't know, just anything. And I say, hey, you know, when I went to go bid on this, the shipping was X amount of dollars and now it's this amount. Nine times out of ten, the seller will say, well, it's too expensive to ship it out for this price. Well, no kidding, <laughs> but that's not my fault, you know, so uh, every time eBay will actually uh, tell the seller they can do one of two things. They can either sell it to me at the price that I had originally seen it or when I had, you know, submitted the bid or they can actually cancel the transaction. And I will be honest with you guys, I end up canceling the transaction every single time because even though it might be the right price and um, it might be, you know, exactly what I wanted and I looked for it for so long, I don't like the fact that someone is trying to be shady about either making more money off of the listing or um, if they're if they're going to do something like that behind your back without letting you know, hey, I've increased the price, are you still interested? That doesn't sit well with me because if they're going to do that, how do I know that they didn't lie about what the bag comes with or what's wrong with the bag or the wallet or anything. I mean, it could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be luxury goods. So as I said, I always make sure and take a picture of the listing and I hope for the best. <laughs> I hope for the best because there are people out there that will try to take advantage of you. But uh, as long as you make sure that you cover your bases, uh, I think that eBay will back you 100% plus. I always pay with PayPal for that same reason. It's just that added protection for me. So it gives me that much more peace of mind. <laughs> so hopefully I was able to answer that. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> I also wanted to add some Instagram uh, questions that I had. I For some reason, I just completely kept forgetting about Instagram. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and add those in there now. Yeah, in here now. My goodness. Uh, okay, so let's go with Wayne Barajas, one of my good friends, Wayne. Uh, what wallet would you buy your husband? I would buy my husband uh, the multiple wallet, and I would buy it in the uh, Demi Infini uh, because it's all leather, and it still has that, obviously, the Demi, the Demi, uh, you know, little boxes or it looks like the Demi Ben, but it's obviously all leather. And, um, I really like the quality of it. The leather is absolutely to die for. And, um, uh, my husband doesn't have, um, he doesn't carry, well, I guess he carries some, some stuff in his wallet. I mean, not a lot, but, uh, I think it's very simple and, uh, I really, really, really like it. <laughs> so it would be the Demi Infini. Too bad too bad he won't let me buy it because like I said before, he'll end up returning it. And, uh, I just, I, I kind of want, you know, a partner in crime with this, you know, cause if he tends, if he starts, you know, going, venturing into the luxury brand, brands, as far as, you know, wallets and stuff like that, then I, I won't feel as bad. <laughs> so <laughs> I would say the multiple wallet in the Demi Infini. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Whew. Okay, Kat Panov. Um, how do you find the brass hardware holds up on the LV canvas pieces? I've heard so many people say it can tarnish over time and the zippers go silver and lose color. Also, zipper pulls chipping and rusting. Um, I, I agree. I think that so, it depends. The LV canvas pieces, as far as the handbags, uh, I think they hold up a lot better than SLGs, which are small leather goods, for the sole reason that uh, the small leather goods, we interact with them daily, um, sometimes obviously more than one or two occasions a day, so they're going to wear a lot faster. However, I have noticed that back, I mean, I'd say maybe even 10, 15 years ago, uh, the brass would hold up a lot better than it does now. Uh, I think now they tend to chip a lot quicker and um, it it almost seems, I hate to say it, but I, it almost seems like the quality isn't as, as good as, as it was back then. Uh, so yes, I do know that it, they, 
they do tend to chip a lot quicker. Uh, they lose color a lot faster. Uh, but um, as I said before, you kind of have to expect expect it in a sense when you are, you know, especially like an LV, um, a six ring key holder. If you deal with it every single day, you interact with it every single day, it's going to tarnish faster because of that. And I mean, I hate to say it, but you, we pay a lot of money for these luxury goods and it's sad to see that sometimes the quality isn't there. So, um, that, that makes me very sad. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Jay loves Lux. I was wondering if you could do a review or wear and tear <clears throat> update on Alexander McQueen card holder. And that's a little card holder that my husband bought me for our anniversary. And yes, I will be doing a uh, updated review on it or a review on it in general because I don't think I have. Uh, so stay tuned for that. <clears throat> and then Elsa Barrera, how do you deal with haters just on the next door and worse, they are family? that's a toughie. Um, as I stated before, my family, um, they don't, I, I guess I'm one of a kind in my family. Uh, no one else really appreciates luxury goods the way I do, but there's a, you know, there's a little niche for everybody. Some people might like, um, you know, watches, some people might like shoes and, you know, my things, my thing tends to be handbags and, you know, small leg leather goods and stuff like that. Uh, but I think no matter what people are going to judge you, whether it's a luxury brand that you like, or I mean, it could be anything. As I said before, misery, like loves company. Some people would want to wonder, you know, why are you buying a luxury, a luxury piece? Why, <clears throat> Why do you want to get something like this? You know, why don't, why don't you get this instead? And honestly, the way that I see it, as long as I am not asking you, that person, for money to purchase what I like, what does it matter what I do with my money? It doesn't matter if it makes me happy, if it makes me sad. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's what you like. It's your it's your funds. And um, on the on the family front, I think that, while they might not agree with your lifestyle, they might not like what you like, I think that family should support you unconditionally no matter what. If someone says, you know, you know, I wouldn't have bought that or why did you get that? You know, instead of saying something like that, especially when it comes from family, it kind of tends to, you kind of tend to hold on to that a little bit more. Sometimes, um, because they're your family, they, 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 they serve such a, an important role in your life that when you hear someone that's very close to you say something negative, it, you, you feel bad. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I've been there and I think that people, instead of saying something so hurtful, it, you know, be it luxury goods or shoes, it doesn't matter. They should say, you know what, if it makes you happy, I support you 100% because it's the love and support that will make us, um, not, they don't have to appreciate luxury goods. They don't have to even like it, but the fact that they're your family or the fact that they're someone that you care so much about, they should be able to, you know, support you emotionally and say, Hey, if it makes you happy, it is what it is. It's not a big deal and leave the judgment behind. Uh, so I, I honestly, I think that whole heart full wholeheartedly, <laughs> uh, you know, and, uh, even though in the past I have thought about, you know, what people think about, I used to think about that a lot when I was younger, you know, people think this about me and people think that about me. And finally I, I stopped one day. I'm just like, why do I care so much about what someone else has to say about me? As long as it makes me happy and it brings a smile to my face. That's all that matters because in the end, it's always you. You should take care and make sure you love yourself and you love what you do. So it doesn't matter what anybody else has to say. And on that note, that will be the last question that I answered. So hopefully I've been able to answer all your guys' questions. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for all the wonderful questions that you sent me. And as I said before, you guys can always send me any question 
regardless of what it is, whether it's LV, it could be personal, it could be just advice. I'm, I mean, I'm here for you guys. That's what I am. You guys have done so much for me that it's only fair that I give as much in return. So um, <clears throat> that is it for Minx Monday Q&A. And this week I will be doing an updated review on this Soli MM, which I've had a lot of people ask me. And finally I'll be able to do that. Uh, so that is it. So I will see you guys later this week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.